How you doing guys? I'm back with another video today and I am going to talk about something different from what was initially planned for today's video. This week has been an intense week of BBC led propaganda under the guise of wanting to debate cannabis legalisation. They have actually put out quite a bit of damaging information and have continued to do so since the Newsweek debate aired. Now, this was supposed to be a debate about legalising cannabis, but what actually happened is a lot of recorded sound bites that sound against the legalisation of cannabis. So a lot was discussed about street skunk, which is a fabricated term that has come to mean any high strength cannabis that doesn't have a lot of CBD in, which if you are a cannabis consumer in the UK is what you consume. So let's be clear about that first of all. Skunk as termed by our media and everybody on both sides are happy to use the term skunk. Skunk is being um, linked with cannabis induced psychosis, which is not a real thing. Otherwise, other countries would all be talking about the cannabis induced psychosis when they legalise for medical and recreational reasons. That's not happening. What we're getting in this country now are outfits like the BBC under the guise of a legalisation debate, getting a load of sound bites about skunk, street cannabis, making up things that just don't exist, which actually hurt the cannabis legalisation movement. For example, skunk is a strain of cannabis. Skunk number one, very old strain of cannabis, is actually a very important strain because it is what GW Pharmaceuticals use as a base for their drug Sativex. The irony of that, beggar's belief, because it is so crazy <laughs> that this hypocritical definition um, of, of skunk has been allowed to profilate and to um, embed itself in the minds of people, even people that want legalisation are now arguing about the dangers of skunk. Medical cannabis, under the definition that the media and the BBC are giving it, is skunk. Most of it is skunk, unless you've got a strain which is a high CBD, low THC strain, um, it's going to be classed by their definition, not by mine, as skunk. They're making a distinction that isn't there between skunk and medical cannabis and regular cannabis. There is not this distinction between skunk and medical cannabis that, that, that people are trying to make out. I hate using the fucking term skunk. It is all cannabis. How high the strength is depends entirely on the genetics, how it's grown. It's down to a number of factors. It's not automatically bad for you when it gets a certain percentage of, of THC. And THC is actually the medicinal cannabinoid for a lot of people in a lot of conditions. So you're falsely making a claim that the medicinal quality in cannabis can cause psychosis which is completely wrong and doesn't make sense when it when it is subjected to any form of scrutiny. We have studies that show the opposite. If you say it enough, the propaganda will propagate. And unfortunately, that is what is happening with term skunk in this country. It is giving ammo to prohibitionists because for everybody that argues for cannabis legalization that wants to talk about harm reduction and stopping people having access to um, high THC strength cannabis, what you're doing is you are giving the argument to the prohibitionists who will say, well, that's then dangerous. Let's not have anybody have access to any of that. Um, and if we do see any form of legalization regulation, it's going to be completely alien to what we have at the moment, which is herbal cannabis, the rates of psychosis and schizophrenia have remained steady or declined since they've been doing testing and since cannabis rates have been increasing. It's just completely incorrect, completely fabricated. It's been adopted by both sides of the campaign now for those against legalization, for those for legalization. We still have people on both sides talking about street skunk. It is completely wrong. It is ignorant. If you're talking about the dangers of skunk, then anybody that does know what they're talking about thinks that you're an idiot because you don't sound like you know what you're talking about. Because if you did, you wouldn't be using that terminology and that sort of language. So um, just bear that in mind, especially if you are on the legalisation campaign, if you are fighting for the legalisation of cannabis. Don't let this term become the propaganda that holds us back. It's already happening and unfortunately people are standing by and letting it. 
That is what I want to talk about today. It is time to talk about skunk, guys, and to get rid of this disgusting propagandistic term from our vocabulary because it is holding us back. Unfortunately, the the propaganda soundbite BBC has made it sort of even more difficult under the guise of a, of, of a, a legalisation debate this week for us. There are now even more sound bites. There's that woman talking about how she would rather her son take heroin or crack than skunk. <sighs> that is dangerous. Like that, that is something that, that should not be allowed any airtime. And that is really, really worrying that. Um, in a program that's supposed to be balanced, that's the sort of thing that's coming out of it. With all that in mind, what is your opinion on the term skunk and what is your opinion on our current state of affairs in terms of the legalisation debate and uh, where where we're going in terms of cannabis legalisation? Do you think this is holding us back? Do you think that I'm wrong to um, have an issue with the term skunk and should just go along with it? I'm not going to, but I do value your opinion. Let me know in the comments. That's it for this video and uh, I'll be back with another one very soon, guys. But this is something that I'm probably going to talk about more because it, it is something that frustrates me and uh, it's something that we need to fight back on. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Have a great week and keep talking. Stepping on your roller coaster Going down, but I never felt this high Biggest ride of the century